Dr. Stanley Dards, widely regarded as uh, the wise old man of the web, thank you very much for joining us today. Good morning. Let's go, shall we? As you may know, Doctor, the Webosphere is desperate to hear your views on the current uh, vendor prefix debacle. Brouhaha! I, I beg your pardon? Well, it's a brouhaha, it's a big hullabaloo. Indeed. And uh, does it sadden you to see such squabbling between people who are essentially working for the same goal? Well, it had to happen eventually, didn't it? Uh, I mean, it's hardly a scalable, long-term solution, is it? Uh, I think it's been simmering, a problem that's been simmering for a long time, waiting for the right moment to burst out, to, to strip off the layers of deception. Au naturel, so to speak. Yeah, if you say so. Uh, so I, I think it's a good thing that uh, finally it's all come to a head and that we can thrash it out in public, what? And what do you think is the cause of this problem in the first place? Well, there are lots of uh, accusations flying around at the moment. Uh, web designers, uh, W3C, the browser vendors, but it's all very misguided. Uh, uh, there's really only one group that's at fault. Yeah. And that is... Well, users. Really? Aren't they the victims in this? Ha! That's what they'd like you to believe, yes. No, no. It's their insatiable desire with their, their cordless telephones uh, for, for new shiny eye candy. I think that's what they call it, yes, yes. Constantly pushing, pushing the web community to release things uh, before they're ready, quite frankly. But surely that's inevitable. Well, unfortunately, I, I think you're right. Uh, ideally, we'd get users off this, uh, this addiction to new, new, new. We'd, we'd knock it out of them. We'd, we'd thrash them. We'd beat them into submission. Uh, but it's not that easy. I know, I've tried. <clears throat> right, yes. Uh, so, is there anything that can be done? Well, you've probably seen we have uh, various campaigns and petitions, and uh, all well-meaning, of course, but uh, human nature being what it is, all doomed to fail. Yes. Uh, well, of course, anyone with half a brain would see that actually it's that uh, PPK, he's a clever chap, you know, PPK has got the only sensible solution so far. That would be the use of a single beta prefix for all vendors. Hmm, you've done your homework, I see. Yes, yes, yes that's right. Uh, it's the only idea that has half a chance of actually working. But, of course, it has one fatal flaw. Which is? Well, it's too simple. Too simple? Isn't that a good thing? Good gracious, no. You make web development simple, you'll have any Tom, Dick or Harry coming along doing it. It'll be like MySpace on a much, much bigger scale. Oh. You don't remember Geocities, young man, do you? No, uh, we don't want to go through that again. Quite. So if the beta prefix is not the answer, uh, what is? How can we get out of this mess? But, well, that's what young Timmy asked me the other day, actually. Uh, Uncle Stan, he said, that's what he calls me. Uncle Stan, uh, I uh, had no idea this would happen when I thought up this whole web thing. And, uh, and now I'm in a bit of a pickle. What am I to do? Well, of course, uh, fortunately I came up with a rather splendid solution, yes, yes. And what would that be? Uh, yes, uh, vendor suffixes. Vendor suffixes? Uh, you mean, like, prefixes, but at the end? Aha! You're not as slow as you look, yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, but here's the clever thing. You keep the browser uh, vendor prefix at the beginning, and you add the browser version suffix at the end. <laughs> what do you make of that, eh? That sounds interesting. Isn't that incredibly complex? Well, precisely. In one fell swoop, you keep the riffraff out of the uh, webosphere, I think you call it, uh, and on top of that, the whole problem of web designers supporting one suffix disappears because they simply won't know which single one to support. Why, it's marvellous. I don't know what to say. Yes, yes. Uh, Timmy was lost for it as well, what? And you really believe that could work? 
No doubt in my mind. And if it doesn't work, we settle it the old-fashioned way. And, and what would that be? Well, we get the working group to wrestle naked on a bearskin rug by a blazing fire. Works wonders for me, I can tell you. And it looks as if we've run out of time, I'm afraid. Dr. Stanley Darts, thank you very much indeed for your valuable insights. Is that it? Yeah, jolly good fun, what? Ha! <laughs>